Hello everybody and welcome back once again to the Red Cubed server. I'm just inside my little mini temporary base and I need to do some caving. I'm in desperate need of an anvil and hopefully an enchantment table. I don't want to go for like crazy overpowered gear, but I would like at least a little bit of something to help me survive. So we're going to do a little bit of caving, but first I need to make something. Here we go. So I'm just going to make this real quick and then we're going to leave it here. Oh, it only works this way still. Okay. I always, I always, <laughs> I always wonder about that. And then this one used to go that way, but I don't think it matters, but there we go. We now have the blank book that we require. So now we just need to get a bunch of diamonds and some obsidian. So the sun is going down. I think, um, hmm, can we find a cave? There was one cave I was exploring and I actually, yeah, let's go back to that one. There was a cave I was exploring over this way before and I cleared out a good portion of it, um, but there was actually, there was actually a really, really huge cavern that uh, honeycombed off into another couple directions that I completely blocked off and didn't go into. So there's still quite a bit to explore and I'd like to check it out. I think it would actually be a really cool like evil base for somebody or something. It's like one of those huge underground caverns. They're just really cool. I always feel like they should be used for something. But we're just going to make our way out there. It's over back. I think it's across the toll bridge or the non-toll bridge, depending. Let's see here. Through the roofed forest here. Oh yeah, we're up on the toll bridge. One log. That is my one log from last time. All right. And I think it's just over underneath those, um, Underneath those mountains on the left side here, I believe. Oh, somebody. <gasps> oh, geez. I guess they're... I don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of torches there. Um, it might not be farther. I might be pretty close, actually. Is it? Yeah, this, this is it right here. There's actually a tree growing here, and I, I broke it out to get in. But I've already cleared out most of this beginning area. There's quite a few zombies here. This isn't the cavern that I'm talking about. There's another even bigger cavern. And I believe, is it up here or is this a dead end? Don't quite recall. Uh, it might be down there. Let's double check this way first. <laughs> Gotta get my bearings again. Yeah, I think it was back. This is probably a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end. Okay. I think it was back at that last fork actually. So I, I thankfully didn't actually die in this one. It's not the cavern I died in. Is this the way? Maybe it was back at the other fork. Now I'm getting confused. I think this way I've already cleared. Except for like there's a little bit of coal there. Uh, a little bit of coal there too. Which I should pick up. But we're going to find... I want to show you guys the cavern first. And then we can explore from there. Must be down here then. Oh, or apparently not. All right, I'm gonna find this cavern. And then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so this is the massive cavern, but seeing it again now, I don't know if I wanna go into it. Oh, geez. No, 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 no. I didn't, no, okay. Apparently I'm digging into more danger. I didn't look at you. Pretty sure I didn't look at you. Okay. <laughs> All right, heart attack central. Population me. So let's peek through here, I guess, while we're here. I think I heard some jangly bones not too long ago. Yeah, I think that was just a false alarm, but you never know. Does this continue on this side? Or does it just go down? I think it just goes down. Just peek through here, I guess. Come back and grab this coal on my back. Oh, a little bit of iron. Always good. We want to get 
at least enough iron for an anvil. And a bit more would be nice. Just put that there. Kind of want to check behind all the gravel and stuff. I have a whole bunch of it though, so I don't need to like stockpile it. I'm actually probably going to have to trade some of it. Because I don't plan on killing chickens. So I can't use it to make arrows. Just light that up. Sometimes you find the darndest things behind stuff like gravel or even dirt. So I try to take a peek behind it if I can. If I have the time. Like there's some coal, that's not really a big deal, but you know in some situations you can actually find uh, like another tunnel or you know possibly something like diamonds. So if you have the time, it's worth looking behind usually. Grab this up. It's a lot of iron for an anvil. I might uh, might have to use some of the stuff I already have back at home, but at least I want to take a look and see what I can get right now. And I'm gonna really need those diamonds if I want to make an enchanting table. So this is like the worst staircase ever. We have some water. All right. And the itty bittiest bit of iron. Aha! Now we're down to gold. Gold and iron. I don't have a specific particular use for gold right now, but it could be very useful in the future, especially for things like railway systems, which we don't have planned yet, but I believe we're probably going to implement in the future. I'm kind of hoping we do something like a subway system, because I think that'd be really cool. And, I don't know, above ground is usually just kind of, eh. I hear lava. Is that like right below me? Oh, hey! So, I don't know if these are... These look like somebody else's torches. Yeah, so this is a semi-explored area because I have come across, actually, um, a ravine. Oh, it scared me. My heart. Yeah, there is a ravine, I think, in that direction. Um, but we're going to do a little bit of lighting up and everything, obviously, because it hasn't been fully explored yet. Take this for sure. Another one of those things. I, I find diamond very frequently kind of butted up against redstone, so try to check under it if I can. Not gonna dig up every bit of gravel and everything though, so. And this goes back around to deep dark doom. No, no! You don't know how much I just had a heart attack. Pay more attention to what is behind you. The last thing that killed me was a creeper, so... Oh, okay. Let's see. That is lava. Should be safe there. A bit more gold. Gonna need to make more torches soon. But there's lots of coal, so that shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna kind of clear out these caves a bit more. Ugh, I hate it when it's like you can't see either direction. And there's like multiple scary places that things could jump out at you. Really not a fan. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Interesting. Check that out in a sec. I'm gonna light this up a bit more. Double check on this situation. I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. This is good, this is good. This is scary and bad. Um, but this has really piqued my curiosity. What is going on over here? Oh, is this in the ravine? Oh, okay. And that... that zombie. <laughs> yeah, so this is the ravine. Previously been explored by somebody, obviously. 
Oh, but there's a bit of iron, so we'll take that. And we'll go on our merry way. We don't want to look out there too closely and get knocked down by a skeleton, because that would really not make me a happy person. I'm going to put a torch right there. Hopefully that'll help me remember the way to get out. Who really knows? I might have to just dig my way out in the end, but... For now, I have torches, I have wood, I have tools. And winter! Oh no! I don't know what's going on. Apparently, Winter just spawned in a wall and died. <laughs> At least she's lolling about it. Oh, poet built where I logged out. Wow. GG poet. <laughs> it's pretty funny actually. The spider scaring me. It better be a big spider, not a baby one. Really don't like the babies. We're getting down to lava level, so we could possibly find some diamonds. Possibly. Don't know yet. I do have a bucket of water. Which I should have on my bar, and I now do. More gold. Excellent. Now, the thing with water, though, is then it makes obsidian, and a lot of the time, you can actually have um, diamonds underneath the lava, so... I think I'm going to do a little bit more exploring, and then I'll get back to you guys. So, as I said that, I put down some gravel, and it was actually one layer deep, which seemed really weird to me, but uh, I decided to do with that. I hear a zombie over there, so that's kind of got me a little bit scared. But, grabbing this iron, decided to do a little peek up in here, up in here, and lo and behold, it's diamond. It's not enough, I don't think. It doesn't look like it'll be enough, but it is diamond. So we're going to continue doing the same trick here, covering up the lava. Because then I can dig it out underneath like so, and I can tell if there are diamonds underneath. But first... Okay, there is definitely a spider, definitely a zombie. So we're gonna get... Oh god, leg, that is a bad time. Okay, I'm gonna get out of that area. It makes it a little bit safer, somewhere I'm not gonna get stuck. And we'll wait. Come on. You can do it. Seriously, guy. Like, can you not... Ow! <laughs> You're such a jerk, zombie. Oh, sorry, bat. That's what happens. That's what happens when you scare me into mines. Another, yeah, another zombie. Okay. Definitely at least one more. Okay, let's make this a little bit more secure. No, 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 come back here. I don't want to die to you guys, especially with diamond in my sights. Oh, there's at least another one. Jeez, like, please. Go away. So that I may get this delicious, beautiful diamond. Oh my goodness. Okay, is there a spawner? Is that something I should be concerned about? I mean, if there is, maybe there's something there. They're still coming. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, well, there's coal. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, oh, well, I guess... Spider, you need to die. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Now, if you could also die, come here. Come here. Look it. You can get me right here. Haha. Okay. I 
feel like I should be okay for now. <laughs> there you go. That is blocked off. That is lit. Hop around this corner real quick and let's put some lights down. Is this the dark cavern of doom? Yeah, it is. Okay. Whew. Sorry, that was me panicking just a little bit. Let's go around here, back to the safe zone, and continue dealing with this problem. So for now, I've just blocked it off because it is a very dangerous and scary place, especially with uh, the mobs being able to jump down. So I'm going to continue to gather these resources here, and then we'll go grab that diamond. I'm pretty sure it's just one. I mean, it looks like just one, but... I would love to be proven wrong. And we're also going to kind of clear out this here, see if we can get anything else underneath lava pools. It seems like this kind of uh, extends a bit, quite a bit that way, so maybe we'll actually find something in the walls there. Um, let's just grab the gold and then we'll grab the diamond and then I will continue to check underneath the lava and stuff like that. So let's see here. Oh, it's more than one. Is that it, though? Looks like that's probably it. Yeah. So, you know, two. It's not one. <laughs> it's something, right? Ah, they look so beautiful. So I'm going to grab those, and then that means I'll only need... Oh, achievement get. I'll only need <laughs> three more to be able to make an enchanting table. I'm gonna fill this in, make that a little safer, and continue on. So it's been mostly uneventful. I've quite a bit of iron now and quite a bit of gold, but I came across this, and at first I thought, oh my goodness. <laughs> How is somebody way down here already? Because I'm, I'm pretty deep down, but it's actually my first spawner. So I found a spider spawner here, and I haven't checked what's in the chest, so let's see what's here. Alright, we got our first saddle, some redstone, some bread, gunpowder, and iron. And as you can see, my inventory is pretty freaking full. And... Oh, we got two music discs, another saddle, and a name tag. So pretty nice, as well as the... Mossy cobblestone, of course, and I'll have to save the coordinates here just in case we want to have a spider spawner in the future. But I'm going to continue digging.